When it comes to pickup trucks, you normally get two types. The first type are your workhorse pickups, which can normally be found in farms or your small businesses hauling stuff. The second type of pickup are the lifestyle trucks, with their lifted stands and their aggressive go-anywhere looks. Typically, your lifestyle trucks get all the bells and whistles, while your workhorse pickup, well, you'll have to make do with an affordable price point. So what I have here is the Maxus T64x4, which comes in at a workhorse pickup price, but it also has all the bells and whistles. And today, guys, we're going to check it out. Let's do this. Now, before I begin this video, I'd like to extend a special shout out and thank you to Maxus Quezon Avenue for giving me this chance to review this car. If you are in near Quezon Avenue and you have a need for a Maxus or even a Volkswagen vehicle, do pay them a visit and check them out. So let's begin the video. The Maxus brand is under Shanghai Auto or Saik for short. Now, before you go on and dismiss it as another piece of Chinese car company, you'll be surprised to learn that Saik has been manufacturing complete vehicles for the likes of Volkswagen and Cadillac, to name a few. They also own Morris Garages, or MG for short. And Saik is the seventh largest car company in the world. So it would be safe to assume that these guys know a thing or two when it comes to building quality cars, or trucks for this matter. Now what I have here is the top trim Maxus T60 Elite 4x4 Automatic, which is meant to give small entrepreneurs and business owners that viable workhorse pickup option that comes with all the bells and whistles. I mean, you could immediately see it from the front fascia here. This thing is wide and huge. It's a beast. It doesn't need to depend on wide over fenders to give it that brawny look. You've got this massive, front grille right here, finished in chrome, and you've got this massive Maxus logo as well. Your headlights are beautifully designed, they're pleasing to the eye. These have projector type housing, but the top trim gets the LED headlights and LED DRLs. Now moving down from the headlights, you will see you've got your fog lights here, and you've got this body colored front skid plate that fully integrates into the look. Now, if you will look at the front fascia of the Maxus T60, you could immediately tell that this baby can run with the more established pickup brands here in the country. Now, moving on to the side of the Maxus T60, you will see that this big boy is the longest pickup truck in its class. You've got your muscular front and rear fenders, which adds to that big brawny look. You've got your power folding side mirrors, your side repeaters, and you've got your aluminum finish, roof rails, and an aluminum step board as standard accessories. Now, when it comes to wheels and tires, you've got your 17-inch wheels wrapped in 24560R17 Dunlop road tires. Yes, you heard me right. There's no no-name Chinese tire brands found here in the T60. Instead, you get these dependable Dunlop road track tires. Now, normally these exter uh, exterior goodies can be found in lifestyle trucks, but they are standard here for the Maxus T60. Now, when it comes to river crossings and flood wading, you can put your mind at ease because the Maxus T60 has a flood wading capacity of 800 millimeters. Now, that is a big boy. Now, moving over to the truck bed, you could see that the T60 sports the widest truck bed in its class, owing to its wide footprint. I mean, check this place out. It's massive. We can hold a beer party right here and still have some room to spare. Now, you could see that the dealer even fitted this unit with this optional cargo trunk, and you still have more than half of the truck bed to spare when it comes to hauling stuff. Now, when it comes to hauling stuff, the T60 is capable of hauling as much as 1,000 kilos worth of payload. Now, that's perfectly decent for small entrepreneurs and business owners when it comes to their hauling needs. When it comes to your exterior detail of the truck bed, you've got your taillights right there. You've got your rear view camera in the middle and nicely integrated into the rear bumper. You've got your rear fog lights for those uh, nightly uh, trips that you've got. And these integrated fog lights also act as step boards for you to get in into this truck bed. Now, before we have that beer party, guys, let's head over to the engine bay and see what kind of motor powers this big boy. Now, on to the moment that I typically dread when it comes to these pickup car reviews. Opening the hood. 
I'm sure Kako feels the same way. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Yeah. Okay, so at least it's not that lifted and I could still reach uh, the hood up with my 5 foot 6 height. Now anyway, the engine is a 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine that is good for 150 horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque. Now those figures might not seem like they're earth shattering, but they're perfectly decent when it comes to towing and hauling capacities. Now you could spec your T60 with a manual, a six-speed manual transmission or a six-speed automatic transmission if you're getting the 4x2 variant. But for the 4x4 variant, you're stuck with only the six-speed automatic transmission. Now let's head on inside to see what kind of tech goodies we can find inside the T60. All right, guys, let's head inside the T60. Upon opening the door, the first thing you'll notice is the driver's seat are nicely finished in leather. You've got contrast red stitching on the seats themselves. The stitching is finely made. It's not haphazardly done, so that's a, that's a plus point. So you get brownie points for that. The leather material itself, it's not really that supple, but it is still leather, so I'll give it that. And you'll notice that the driver's seat is a power-adjustable driver's seat, while the, you, the passenger will have to make do with manual adjustments. So now let's head inside see what the T60 is all about. Seated here in the driver's seat of the Maxus T60, you will be greeted by a steering wheel that is not finished in leather. This is a urethane steering wheel. It's made of plastic. Well, man up, grab that urethane wheel and just drive off because this is a workhorse of a truck. You do get your cruise control buttons and your infotainment buttons, which are nice touches, by the way. Now, when it comes to the instrument gauges, I'm quite used to Chinese-owned car brands or Chinese car companies having such a futuristic-looking instrument gauge. But when it comes to the T60, Maxus decided to go for the more traditional route instead. You've got your usual tachometer and speedometer here with your fuel gauge and your engine temperature gauge. Now, I have to say these uh, analog gauges are beautifully done. You've got this metal accent that goes around the uh, uh, circumference of your gauges and you've got these nice red lines that further enhance the look of your uh, instrument gauges. They kind of look like a sport chronograph watch. I mean, that's how beautiful they are, which also goes to prove that analog could still be beautiful. Now, in the middle of those beautifully done instrument uh, gauges, you've got this information screen that's a little bit tiny. Uh, at least for my taste, and especially when it comes to a Chinese-owned car brand. You've got your information there in the middle. It does the job, but it's really, really small. I think it's just a three-inch screen. It's that tiny. Now, moving over to the center of your uh, dashboard, you have the star of the show. This is the 10-inch fully LCD touchscreen infotainment display. Now, this has got to be the biggest information screen that I've seen in any of the pickup trucks that I've reviewed. I think it's the biggest in, in its class as well. You've got Apple CarPlay here. You don't get Android Auto though, but it's okay. You have Bluetooth capability anyway. Now, when you turn on the, the radio or the, the system, it has this uh, beeps every time you touch the screen or you touch a button. So check this out. See, you hear that? It kind of reminds me of a cell phone. <laughs> it's quite funny actually. So yeah, it has a nice colored 10 inch screen there. You got your buttons here at the bottom for your home, your volume, your music. And below that uh, 10 inch infotainment screen, you've got your uh, automatic climate control system. And you've got some buttons flanking it on the left and the right. You've got buttons for your traction control and a button for your drive mode. Now, the T60 comes in three drive modes. You've got your normal mode, which is just for normal cruising. And if you're saving on your fuel, you can uh, press the eco button right here, and that should save your fuel. Now, below the eco button, you've got your PWR button, which stands for power. So if you're hauling quite a bit of heavy stuff or you want to just gun it, you just uh, press the PWR button to give your T60 a little bit more power. Moving further down, you've got your, you know, I find this to be one of the most unique looking gear shifters that I've seen in my car reviews. This looks like a um, giant T. 
or like those uh, four-speed automatic transmission levers from the 1980s, if you know what I mean. So <laughs> it's, it's quite massive, but it's really good to the touch. In, in fact, it would be perfectly good for people with larger hands. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Now, beside that gear lever, you've got this uh, 4x4 selector for 2 high, 4 high, and 4 low. You don't get that traditional uh, 4x4 gear stick. It's no biggie. This is pretty much the normal thing nowadays, this rotary knob. You got a couple of slats here, which I would presume to be aircon slats, climate control slats. And you've got this classic handbrake right here. You don't get an e-brake with auto hold feature. This is still a handbrake. And you got a couple of cup holders here. And you got your center uh, console right here, which could store some, I think this is perfectly sized for some CDs if you're into that kind of stuff. The dashboard material of the T60 is made of hard-wearing plastics. You've got some nice textures here in the center dash. And uh, well, it's pretty much uh, par for the course when it comes to the interiors of any uh, lifestyle or workhorse pickup truck. You do get some nice uh, red stitching on your door panels as well and some nice matte aluminum accents there to break off the monotony of the interior so overall yeah this is a decent uh, interior for a workhorse pickup truck now let's go to the back back seat and check out what kind of legroom we can have there now since the t60 has one of the longest wheelbase in its class you'd know that there'd be ample space here in the back seat of this double cab pickup and it shows the driver's seat is adjusted to somebody of my height i'm five foot six as you can see my knee thus has nearly a foot of space from the uh, seat back of the front driver's seat the headroom is also quite good so in terms of space here in the back it's quite comfortable and decent as well you do get uh, a few toys, if I may say. You get your center uh, AC vents right here, which can't be found in other pickup trucks. And you get a 12 volt power charging outlet right here. You don't get a USB charging port as well, which is kind of sad. And you also don't get a center armrest or even cup holders here at the back. So if you're at the back seat and you're having a cup of coffee, you have to hold on to that cup of coffee. There are no cup holders found here unless you want to put them on the side of your door which might spill your coffee but overall the space here in the back seat of the t60 is obviously made for larger caucasian uh, men because my medium sized asian build is perfectly comfortable here in the back so if you guys are ready i'm also ready let's take the t60 out for a, an on-road test drive and drive impression just to see what kind of manners it has on paved civilized streets let's go all right so we're now behind the wheel of the t60 pickup from maxus and right off the bat sitting here in the driver's seat i could feel that the seats are firm they're on the firmer side they're not plushy they're not like uh, moving couches but they don't really have that much bolstering, which means that if you're a bigger person than me, you would be a little bit more comfortable in these seats because they're not tight. So that's good. Now, we're going through this narrow road, and although this is the biggest pickup uh, class in terms of length and its width in its class, it doesn't feel like I'm driving a big car. And that's a good thing. So if you notice, the road is quite, uh, well, it's quite narrow but it doesn't feel like I'm going to hit anything on my sides anytime soon. Another thing that you'll notice also, this is a cement road, but it's not really the most perfect cement roads, and the ride quality is surprisingly pretty good. This is a pickup, and normally pickups have a bouncy, jarring ride, mainly because it's really meant for carrying heavy stuff and heavy loads. But right now, it feels like I'm just driving a regular uh, ladder chassis SUV and that's great that's great especially if you're, you're just on your way to your destination to pick up the stuff that you will be hauling and you're just all alone in the in the truck you won't feel fatigued or tired at the end of a long journey so we're now in an open road so let's gun it try to see the acceleration we're in normal mode by the way Okay, in terms of acceleration in normal mode, it's decent. 
there's some news articles and reports that says that it's uh, it's a little bit underpowered, but I don't feel it. And we're still in normal mode, so I'm gonna gun it again. Yeah, this thing accelerates uh, quite smoothly, which is also uh, quite surprising for a diesel pickup. And uh, in terms of power, I don't find myself uh, wanting for more power. All right, let's go for another acceleration uh, stint. Yeah, so the acceleration in normal mode, it's really not in your face. It won't really pin you back on your seat, but it's not really what you'd expect from a pickup. You'd expect that from a sports car, not a pickup. In terms of steering feel though, I have to say that the steering feel is a little bit anesthetic. So uh, it's a little bit numb, a little bit light, uh, too light considering that this is a big uh, pickup. Now that would be a good thing for people who are muscularly challenged, but obviously that's not me. <laughs> but yeah, I would appreciate maybe a little bit more heft when it comes to the steering feel of this uh, Maxus pickup. Now let's try it in power mode. So I'm going to press the power button and now we're in power mode. There is a noticeable difference when it comes to the response of the throttle input. So now the revs are also holding a much higher than in normal mode. And it downshifts faster too. Woo! Yeah. I mean, I know there are lifestyle pickup trucks that have more power than the T60, but this baby will not leave you hanging. In power mode, it could put the hammer down. Okay, we're climbing up a hill and we're in normal mode again and we have no issues when it comes to climbing. This is not that, uh, not that steep, but it is a good way to show you guys that the T60 could haul because the maximum torque of this pickup comes in as low as below 2000 RPM. I think 1600 RPM. So you got maximum torque immediately when you're doing some hauling or climbing. Okay, so yeah, in terms of suspension comfort, you know it's a pickup because it's not as smooth as a crossover. And yet, it's not that bone jarring. It's not like you're gonna have, uh, you'd feel like you've been massaged by a sumo wrestler at the end of each long trip. Doesn't feel that way. The cabin comfort, air conditioning, top notch. Five stars, guys. The air con, it's very cool. And uh, in terms of uh, cabin space, I don't feel cramped at all. So you could really tell that the T60 is made for people who are much larger than I am. Overall guys, the Maxus T60 acquits itself well as a lifestyle truck. But that's the, that's the thing. It's not priced as a lifestyle truck. It's priced as a workhorse truck. And for that price level, you get lifestyle truck amenities and lifestyle truck comfort with the power to haul just like any workhorse pickup truck. And for that guys, I would say that this T60 will bring some solid competition in the hot pickup wars in the Philippine market. While the T60's power output does not equal its brawny looks, it still has a lot of features and amenities that can be found in pricier lifestyle trucks. This top-spec T60 4x4 automatic variant comes in at only 1,328,000 pesos. Now, that's right in the middle of a bare-bones workhorse pickup and the top-spec lifestyle pickup trucks. Now, this middle-of-the-road pricing is a strategy of Maxus wherein it wants to tap a certain niche of buyers. And those are the small businessmen and the entrepreneurs who wants a value-packed workhorse of a pickup truck without breaking the bank. Once again, guys, thank you for watching one of my car reviews. If you like this review, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I promise you guys, it will be worth your while by subscribing to my channel. Anyway, guys, I'm Ray Gannon. I will see you again in another video. Bye-bye.